Hi guys and welcome back to All Season Sea Fishing. Right, we're at Morecambe. Eventually, winds aren't even bad now. Uh, out in the water there eventually. Lads are just setting up. So hopefully the day we can come back with some decent fish. Maybe hounds, rays. We'll see what's about. Please hit that subscribe button. Like I say, the channel's going great. And every subscriber helps, every view helps, and I want to thank you all so much for your support. I want to take it rock hard. So the bait I bought was the day. I've got squid, some mussel, which we got from Lenny's yesterday. Got some more mussel in the bag there. And I've also got peeler, little peelers there. So, hopefully that'll be the right bait of the day. To hopefully have a productive day here at Morecambe. Watch out and weed at the top. Whoa, what mm. That's it. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Come on. It's not. It's not. You know. Someone no. grab that? Yeah, I'll go. Oh. Yeah, but... hey, what a belter. Well, that's what I want. <laughs> that's what I want. Well. What an should... absolute belter. We should wear them enough. Buzzing with this, like. Mm -hmm. Nice eyes. First smoothie. Making lovely noises and that. What was that on? Squid. I am going to warn you guys, Bell Boy is back the day. The rip off version of Del Boy. <laughs> oh, we're going to hear all day Sean and his bells. Them yellow boats just ahead. They were uh, on the sand when we come up there. So much the tide's coming in. Wayne, George. put the kettle on there as well. Yeah, Wayne's having the breakfast of champions. <laughs> Best of both worlds. Best of both worlds, what did. Absolutely lush scenery though, innit? First time we've ever been here ever. So it's a complete new experience for Alloa. So far, so good. Look, there's some breaking through, man. Season now a bit more choppy. Let's see if we can get it out of there. Look at that fantastic hair waving all over the shop. That's what happens when you don't put your wax on. Right, guys, we did pack up with the winds and we were going to go to Half Moon Bay, but on the way here, we pulled to a service station. Some idiot just left a grass bottle in the way. 
Sean's went over it and he's got a slow puncher so on my way into Lancaster now to uh, get a sorted of quick fit and then hopefully go to Half Moon Bay. Well it's been eventful so far. We know it. Quick fit. Gotta wait another hour yet before we even get this tire sorted. We're hoping we're gonna get the half moon beer, but we'll see. Hopefully we do. If not, when we're going away next in the middle of the week, I'll be able to finish the air uh, video then. We'll see what happens though. But this is one of the reasons why I like to call him Bellboy. Gotta keep for an hour. I thought I could sit with it on his back. What are you doing? You're wrapped up the car, are you? Oh my god. Smash. Back on the road again. It's in here, we can't. I get on the combat. And this is the man that squeezed me in. I really appreciate it, mate. Thank you so much. Right, guys. On the way back from Morecambe now. The day started off with Sean hit and run glass bottle. Slow punch up. Uh, didn't notice really until we got to Morecambe. We got the car. Seeing it was flatter than a witch's tit. Uh, Fish and stone jetty anyway until about 10 just after. Once the garage is opened, we'll start we'll having to make phone calls really or we're gonna be stuck. So after five hours, we'll manage to get sorted. But just took it out when else. So on way home. We're all gonna complete the video though. We're gonna go back next couple of days, fish it at night, so there will be a part two to this. So stay tuned for that. Right guys, this video has not been an easy one to make like, uh, we've had no but bad luck really. Went to mop when they need to try and finish off the video. Wind, rain, the lads got soaking. It was horrendous. So we came back to Heaven Marina for an hour, see if we can try and salvage this one. Hopefully we can add more than just my hunk of the list of fish caught on this video. But we will go back to Morkham next year now we do know the lay of the land etc and we've had experience of it. Met a nice bloke called Joe. He's told me that we're pretty much too late for the hounds anyway. I'll, apparently I was looking to get one because I'm moving out. But like I say, there's always next year for that. And hopefully we can post something out here. That dirty little bastard. Well, I'm saying little legs are kind of size of your lad. Eh, uh, I just need me clock up my box if you can grab it, mate. It's hanging out. There's me, eel. 
That's my little shit. I'm gonna hire it back. That's my second fish of the video though. It wasn't. Sean's first catch. The seaweed man. Oh, he's got crabs. Getting little knocks there. Hopefully that'll pull me second one out of the neat. Give him another half a while. I've been here long though to be fair and it's quite active. I think there's a weird one right behind us. There's one proud boy. <laughs> there's proud one proud boy. boy. Yeah, I, feel like I mean, all of that, more coming back twice, he's caught two crabs. Yeah, I think it's the same bloody crab, it's got one claw. <coughs> it just likes all bait. <laughs> right guys, that does bring this one to an end. Uh, like I say, it's going to be the hardest video I've tried to make, like. Nothing seemed to have went right. From Sean, going out with the glass bottle again, a slow puncher, not noticing that we've got to mark them. Then only bit to fish it a couple of hours till the garage is open. Obviously, he's ready to get a sword for the bank hole, because it was a bank holder. To then, going back, weather being pff, wet, windy, and then to finish off at heaven for a couple of hours. So, not as much fishing in the video as I would like, but like I say, there's a bit to see exactly what happened throughout the day. Uh, like I say, please like, share and subscribe if you haven't already. If you're not part of the Facebook group, please get yourself in. I say we've got a class community and I look to see what everybody's up to. As you know, I do work for a company called PRS Inclusions. They can help anybody who is over the age of 16 years old gain employment. They can help you with interview skills, your CV, character building, they do job coaching and all sorts. So if you're interested, I am going to put the leaflet here and I'm also going to put it at the end of the video. Right, that could be the last trip to the West Coast for a bit. Uh, I've been talking to a gentleman last night, found out maybe we can hit Mary Port for cod. Maybe something to look at. But with the weather changing soon, hopefully the cod are going to start rolling in. I don't get among them. Maybe go on the cliffs and stuff there. Eh? So, for me and the lads, until the next one, tight lines.